What's up guys, it's Wally the Robot here, and today I'm playing Akali in the top lane. Uh, it's a mirror uh, map, so I'm going to be in the bot lane essentially. Um, this game is a recording, of course, but the way I play is still relevant. Um, I forgot to record this game uh, initially, when, uh, like I usually do in the pre-game lobby, but it's okay. Um, that's why we have match history and we can always go back and view our mistakes and such. And I'm glad I was able to play this game, to be honest. It was a little spicy in the beginning, if you will. I'm not going to spoil too much, but I'm against what I thought it was a Mordekaiser. I see a server pop up and I'm thinking, oh, Senna must be ADC, Mordekaiser support. You know, let's see how this works. Let's see what this guy knows, because I looked at his level pre-game and his level is level 20 so silver out damages me at the moment so i know i gotta play safe and then all of a sudden mordecai's are popped up and i'm like what is going on what's happening here and i was thinking well maybe the mordecai's just a little standoffish you know maybe he's gonna give lane to silver and allow me to beat up the silver and let silver go back to the farm lane no 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 that 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 doesn't happen and by farm lane i mean the dragon lane uh but that doesn't happen because the moment i go in for sever mordekaiser wants to attack me so i don't know what's going on uh with this i was hoping to pick up the kill on sever right there unfortunately she gets lucky and gets away with one hp the mordekaiser tries to make a play on me uh with a flash ignite and I barely survived somehow. I don't even know. I thought I was going to die to this minion that shoots me. I literally live with one HP. and I'm <laughs> I would have been upset if I was a Mordekaiser, being honest with you. So here, I know you're supposed to continue farming the wave. But I see that he's low. And I know if I land my E, uh, I can go in for a solid kill. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't happen. I'm able to avoid the scrying orb. Because I thought he was in the bush right there. That's why I went to the right. And then Rakan shows up, and I get ignited again, and I die. But I pick up the first blood. Now, I pan over to the Seraphine, and Seraphine is just farming away, enjoying her life, and all of a sudden she dies to the. Yeah. So, I also previously, before I went up to the Mordekaiser, I pained on my way multiple times, and the Seraphine refused to help. Now, another thing about my lane is that um well my lane always ends up being the party lane and what i mean mean by that is everyone likes to come to my lane doesn't matter what role i'm playing aside from jungle that's the only one i can't really be bothered with um but if i'm playing mid lane top lane bot lane my lane gets the most activity out of everyone it does not matter who i play i could play the worst champ i could play the best champ i could play a mid champ but <laughs> It's redundant. You'll see here in a second. Vala Bear goes after the Yi and River. And all of a sudden ends up down by my lane. And I'm already dealing with a 1v2. So when I see the Vala Bear flash over this wall right here. To get away. Instead of just run. Or not flash. Ult over it. Instead of walking down. Uh, I was like okay. So I noticed the Mord and the Yi go up. I was trying to land a W. Or not a W. An E on the Yi. But I didn't. So instead I pick up this clean kill on the Sivir. And I was going to go help him, but I was like, uh, on the off chance that, you know, he does die, I don't want to die to, or feed the Yi any further. Uh, so, you know that the Mord and the uh, Yi are down here. So, I was trying to pick up a kill on the Mordekaiser. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I tried to pick up a kill on the Yi. That doesn't happen. And hello, Rakan again. So... My lane keeps getting the most activity. I ping, or not ping, uh, well I did in game. I pinged enemy missing and assistance at the Seraphine. Completely ignored me. And she continued trying to push the wave, uh, trying to get turret. Um, the Ash is going against the Senna with a Yumi attached to the Ash. So Ash is doing okay. Um, the Senna played really well. I want to give credit where credit's due. Senna played extremely well. Um, it was very hard for me to get to her, if at all. Um, and every time I would get close, everybody would just collapse on me. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about later in the video. So, 
Here, I'm testing my damage against the Mordekaiser. I notice I have solid damage, especially with that burst with the Electrocute. Um, I also have sudden impact, which is really, really beneficial. Now the other item, or not item, uh, what is it called? Um, the other, I guess, rune you could run is uh, Conqueror. Conqueror is a good choice. And here I pick up a kill on uh, Mordekaiser as well. Um, I get some solid damage off on the Rakan. Now, unfortunately, here, well, not unfortunate for me, unfortunately for him, uh, he had no mana but a lot of health. I had low health but a lot of energy. And oftentimes, a lot of players think, oh, I'm low health, I'm going to die. If you just pay attention to that small, minute detail of their mana bar, you can easily win that fight. Because even if you're low health, you're still able to put out more damage with your abilities than being at full health and only being able to use one ability. So keep that in mind in your games and take advantage of that. Um, a lot of people null and void that or don't pay much attention to it. Now here, I wanted to go get the Rift buff, right? But no, 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 no. Volibear decides he wants to go in and fight the Yi and the Rakan. So here I am doing what I can to kill the Yi as quickly as possible, but Yi gets away. So instead, I pick up the kill on the Rakan. Um, I then want to go back, but then I notice that the Mord is fighting the Volibear, and I'm not happy about that, so I'll go and try to pick up a kill on that. And here, I was thinking, oh, he probably went around. And so I walk around the entire thing thinking I can get a glimpse of him. No, that's not the case. So I farm some minions, and lo and behold, he's sitting here in the bush, and uh, he thought he could get me, but he couldn't which is good for me. So, in a 1v2 lane, and I die here, unfortunately, to the Yi. It's a Yi, you can't really get away from him, especially when he ults, and his attack speed's insane. So, me going against a 1v2 early game, I'm currently 6-3 and 0. Uh, I'm not mad at the Volibear at this point, because the Volibear was just here, and he just died, he just respawned. Uh, but I will say I'm a little upset at the fact that we didn't go for objectives or the Volibear was not objective oriented and here I was just testing to see uh, What all I could do with the screen overlay for the game um, I noticed that Mord and Yi are here and I want to save the tower as much as possible. I wanted to confirm if Yi went to get the scorpion because that's already a pain in the butt as it is with the damage it does. It does solid damage. It is, I, I actually agree with the damage it puts out. Um, however, it's just me and the Mord right now. I think the Yi backed off, which is not the case. I'm over here fending off uh, three minions in, or two minions of Scorpion. And I don't want to push unless uh, that minion's gone because I don't want that hitting the turret. And I pick up a kill here on the Mordekaiser. The Yi thought he could get me, but he's sadly mistaken. And I pick up a double kill. So here I thought I was going to die to the minions again for the second time. But I risked it and I was able to pick up that minion as well. So now I have a solid item, almost a full item advantage against the Yi. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Yi does... I think he's just a little bit ahead only because I've died three times he's only died once um, but here the Volibear started dragon went to go pick up the Yumi then walked back to the dragon I'd highly advise you don't do that especially when you already had the dragon at half health almost um, you don't want to back off from that so and the fact that Seraphine is not assisting, she's in mid lane currently trying to fight a Mord and a Yi is not ideal. So I'm over here knowing that Yi's mid lane, I can solo this uh, Rift buff. And I, my intention was to take up bot lane, but I ended up saving it because by the time I got bot lane, uh, I think the server showed up. So, but from here, I want to play safe. I don't have a turret, I'm low energy. And once I saw the damage, I'm like, okay, I can definitely take care of this no problem so i end up getting the kill on her uh i want to get the scorpion at all times i don't want the enemies to get it and i decided to recall here now i could have pushed for turret but i didn't want to risk how fast you could get to me or the rakan so i opted to back 
and I see that they're starting to take a fight to River. And I thought I was going to make it there in time, but I wasn't paying attention to who all died. So Ash just respawned. Seraphine's dead. Um, Yumi's about to die. And the Volibear died. And I was trying to land it on the my E on the Yi, but instead the Rakan did a massive save. I got stunned, and then Yi picks the kill up on me. So unfortunately, some bad events happened in my own luckiness. Um... I'm pretty sure if I stayed in the bush, the tribe bush, uh, I would have been fine. But I decided to, you know, limit test a little bit. I mean, it's a PvP game, and I consider myself ahead. But not as ahead as the Yi. Me and him are actually staying relatively close in items. So, it's really whoever gets to the first person will get the kill, um, essentially. You'll see later in the game as well. Um... The Volibear messes up quite a bit with jungling. Uh, I am able to pick up a kill here on the Mordekaiser. And, I mean, that was simple enough. Um, I do ult. I try to get as close to I can to the server. She eat, or I forgot what her ability does, but it cancels out uh, any abilities coming in. And I'm able to pick up this kill as well. So, playing pretty smooth. I want to go pick up the CS and then Yumi attaches onto me. I also want to use my Rift buff that I have. So now I'm going to continue to push this wave. And then whoever decides to come in front, depending on how much energy I have, uh, that will dictate whether I engage or not. I also, you'll see here in a second what I mean. I'm not going to spoil that. No way. Um, but if you look at the map, you see everyone's mid. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let the rest play out by itself. And I'm back. So, I mean, using Akali's versatility, I did what I was supposed to do. Um, however, though, getting stunned or snared from the Senna is what ended up getting me killed. Otherwise, I would have had a huge chance to make a huge play there. Um, and at the very least, the Yi would have cleaned me up. And as you can tell, my teammates do not put out any damage in this game. Um, unfortunately. The Volibear went for kind of a weird build. He's also behind quite a lot. Um, the only other one that's keeping up with me is Ash and the Yi. The Yi's actually ahead of both of us, but I mean, it's a Yi. What do you expect? Um, so the I think the build that Volibear was trying to go was close to a on hit, but I don't think it works too well on him because he comes back with well, later in the game he get, he has a bork right now he gets a dead man's and then he gets something else that doesn't really benefit him and here unfortunately i missed my cue uh, but when i got close enough the yee queued me and ended up picking up the kill so unfortunately i was just unlucky otherwise that would have been a good play if i would have picked up a kill on yee because then i would have just played into the uh recon and picked up a double but not everything goes our way, so we have to deal with the, con uh, not the consequences, but our decisions. Um, so here you see that Seraphine has a slow wave push. Um, Seraphine's off also playing as a support. So that was the other thing that was throwing me off. She built full support items in the mid lane, so she wasn't putting out any kind of damage. Um, the Volibear, he's not putting out any damage. The Yumi is doing okay with her heals and shields. Um, and then Ash is right behind me in items. So, actually the Ash is ahead of me in items. Uh, what I mean is for damage output and such like that. Um, I still want to continue to clear this wave. And then... I didn't know at the time that they were on dragon, so they ended up getting a free dragon. And this is ideal. This is what I was talking about last time. 
Um, warding is important. It is very important. Always ward your main objectives. Uh, Baron, dragon. Um, you don't necessarily have to throw it in the pit. You can throw it in the river so you can actually see where they're going. Getting scuttles are important. Um, and then essentially important entry ways. Um, I wish I could zoom in and show you guys, but like here, throwing a ward over this wall, uh, in between the two walls at river. Um, not the bush, but how do I explain it? Okay, if you're on my side and you have mid turret up still on the red side, right where Ash was just standing is where you want to throw the ward. You want vision there. That's an ideal spot. I typically throw mine in the middle. You cover more uh, area that way um, because the turret's already going to be highlighted when you're walking up lane. So you want to kind of throw it more mid or to the jungle side. Reason being is because you want to see if they're going to be coming from jungle in that instance. Now, Ash does a good job getting a good solid amount of damage on the turret. But unfortunately, she has to back off. Um, she did not have to burn the flash there, I don't think, to be honest with you. Uh, she has Zumi speed, so or Yumi speed buff, and I think she would have got out with just that alone. Um, here, I try to make a play because I know Elder's up, and uh, I kind of mistime it, unfortunately. Um, I know I get the kill here on the Sivir, and then I back off if I'm not mistaken. No, I go back in. Okay, this is this is uh, what I was referencing is too soon. Um, unfortunately, Mordekaiser gets away again, and I was a little salty about that. Not gonna lie. The Yi comes in. Uh, the Yi does a great job, um, and unfortunately, I get snared again with unlucky. Just, <laughs> just my luck, you know. But you'll see that running support Seraphine mid lane is not an ideal thing to do. You want to build AP burst or uh, overtime damage. What I mean by that is either you want to go Ludens Rabadons or you want to go a Leandri's, um, I think it's called Infinity Orb. Yeah, Infinity Orb, my first item that I built. Um, just something to, you know, damage over time. I don't know if the uh, burned version of Seraphine is viable. Um, but it's just a thought, just something to keep in mind, especially when you're going to get some Mordekaiser. Now here, they almost ended, but Ash and myself ended, uh, ended up getting the save, essentially. Um, and then I ended up getting snared again from the Senna, which is very annoying. I opt to recall because I notice I can buy my Lich Pain, which is going to be hugely beneficial. Especially against the Yi and against the uh, uh, Rakan. I'm not too concerned about Senna. I can pop Senna. I can pop the Sivir. But the Yi with his healing and the uh, Rakan with his shielding, the Lich Bane would be very beneficial, especially with me running Electrocute. Now, here um, uh, we go for drag. We do get the Elder Dragon, and I was trying to ult over the wall to the Senna, but I kind of, she was out of my range, otherwise I would have picked up the kill there, and which is unfortunate. I didn't trust my team to not be able to get Elder, especially if they just backed off Dragon earlier to pick up a Yumi. Yi's in the bot lane right now. Um, unfortunately, he gets away if I'm not mistaken. So, we are doing the best we can, as in me and Ash. Everyone else is kind of just doing their own thing. Um, I was halfway tempted to do a video on other players versus myself, but this game for me was kind of golden. Um, I ended up picking up the kill on the Mordekaiser, and then I almost picked up the kill on the Rakan, but we had to opt out because if you look back at our base, and sorry for the delay, I don't know what happened there, um, it, it almost died. So we back now, too late. We should have kept pushing at this point. Um, and the Ash is in the bot lane. Uh, the Ash was actually clearing the wave, which is okay. But this idea from the Bella Bear was not ideal. Now I could have opted to chase the Senna. I was close enough and picked up the kill that way. But 
I I really didn't think um, it would have been worth, especially with the uh, not cannon minion. What's, what's that minion called? Well, I forgot the name, but the big minion. I don't want that thing just pushing the wave all the way back to base. Um, and you'll see here shortly, I try to make a play because I know I can, um, essentially with just one-shotting the Sivir, but I lost track of everyone else, unfortunately, so I opt to take the blue buff for energy, um, faster energy and uh, ability cooldown, essentially. And then I push to the bot lane because if I can keep that lane pushing, we'd be good. Um, but during the game, I wasn't checking, uh, what do you call, um, I guess stats, where you see your items, your KDA, and stuff like that. All I know is, is that I see a Mordekaiser there. I don't want to fight the Mordekaiser because I know the Yi and the Senna are with him. Um, I also wanted to try and make a steal on the Baron, but they didn't go for Baron. Um, Mordekaiser walks up. I should have just played into it and I should have just instantly killed him. But after I would have done that, I probably would have died to the Bracon. Um, so some plays are good that you miss, other plays are not. And this is what I was talking about with the Vala Bear. I don't know if he was just distracted, but also at the same time, the build he's going is not sustainable against a Yi. You'll see how fast he dies here in just a second. Oh, no, the Yi dies. I die afterwards to a Mordekaiser. Even though, yeah. And the sad part is, is that the Ash is only able to pick up the Mordekaiser. Uh, she's not able to pick up the Senna or the Rakan, I don't think. No, they get away. Um, and the Seraphine, she's, I don't want to talk bad. I really don't. I'm not actually going to say it now. Um, and honestly, I don't want to beat a dead horse. So I'm not going to repeat myself. Um, but here I realize that I know that either A, we have to win the team fight and just end, or we just lose outright. We just lose outright. And um, you notice that uh, Edgelord, Elder Dragon, is coming up in 41 seconds. Uh, you have Ash and uh, Seraphine hovering over Baron. The Seraphine is doing a good job staying with Ash, but also at the same time. Um, I think the Ash dies to the Sivir, which is unfortunate. But here we're clearing the wave. Oh no, she dies to the Yi, and Yi just three taps her, uh, which is insane. Um, I wanted to recall because I know the Yi's in the bot lane, and I can fight the Yi, but I wasn't sure if Mordekaiser and Rakan were going to start a fight. And I wanted to be sure there to make sure that they both die, because I don't trust the Vala Bear or the Seraphine. Um, I waited for the Yumi, but the Yumi didn't want to hop on, which is okay with me. I wasn't about to go run down a Yi, so I decided to go mid to stop the wave from pushing. Um, the Yi ends up killing the Seraphine, and I wanted to actually stop the Elder Dragon buff. I wanted to steal it, essentially, but I didn't put out enough damage, and I am dying, which is unfortunate. So after that... Um, we managed to hold somehow, and Walla Bear running a war mag, a, a war mogs, is okay. Like his build after Bork is okay, but keeping the Bork at this point, um, I think it would have been better if he would have gone. Uh, what's that item called? Uh, not Spirit Visage. I mean, Spirit Visage would have been good. It's actually, I would say, it's ideal on anyone that can shield or heal themselves. Because I think it gives double the shielding power. So with Volibear's E, the little ring of lightning that comes down, if you stand in it, Volibear gets a shield. If he has a spirit visage, he would have been able to get a whole lot more shielding. On top of that, uh, the item he has uh, would be able to shield a lot too. So he would have been stupid hard to kill if he would have just done that instead of keeping the Bork. Here, unfortunately, I... Uh, uh, missed on Rakan, he got me, he played well. Uh, I was able to pick up the kill on him, but I forgot I had a Zanyas and I didn't use it. So I ended up dying to uh, Yi and the Elder Dragon. 
Um, the healing on Yi is insane. And I don't think that was a Senna Q heal. Um, and this is actually where the game ends, essentially. Uh, Yi kills the Ash for a Penta. Um, and, I mean, that's GG's. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And drop a like if you don't mind. I appreciate you appreciate you guys and hope you guys have a good day night evening wherever you may be and i'll see you guys in the next one peace